All right, YouTube, we're back at it again with another video here. Uh, sorry, I'm not on my tripod, so just bear with me. I'm gonna be kind of shaky. I'm gonna just try my best here. Uh, not to mention, I'm not a professional caliber, a professional caliber like I always mention. Uh, just an average Joe. You guys already know that. <laughs> but anyway, man, we have. Uh, this is a local dimming test after the patch, the 2020 update patch for the Hisense H9G. And we have five circles on the background here. And I want to just show you guys how the, the local dimming algorithm works after the patch. And I will compare this video to the video I recorded and posted on this channel a couple of weeks ago before the patch. So without further ado, man, uh, let's get into uh, one more thing. If you guys see a little bit of blooming or a little bit of um, overexposing, it's because of the, the, the white circles are so bright. It's causing the lens on my iPhone 11 Pro Max to flare. So just bear with me and go to the commentary and we'll go from there. But without further ado, let's start this video up and see if it's improved. I mean, as you guys can see, man, it, it looks really good. You know, before before the uh, the update or whatever, man, the blooming, like the whole left side of the panel will light up completely. But it looks, it looks pretty good, man. I'm very impressed with these black levels. And you know, I would not record a video and lie to you guys about anything. And so I'm just trying my best to go with this commentary and tell you guys the truth. There is blooming. There's still a little bit of blooming, obviously, because it's not an OLED set. So you're gonna, you know, you're gonna experience blooming on the LED set. No, it's not a transmissive display. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. Just one dot on a solid black background. It looks pretty damn good, man. And as you can see there, causing my lens to flare up a little bit. Let's see if we can get in focus, there we go. As you guys can see, it looks pretty good. And I can say, if you are looking for a TV right now under a thousand bucks, and you're not really looking for future-proof HDMI 2.1, this is a TV to go for. The Hisense H9G is a TV to go for. If you just need 4K60 HDR, this is the TV to go for. Uh, the black levels are now good. The motion is in the motion. They patched the motion as well. I'll do a video on that tomorrow morning. So you guys stay tuned for that. But let's let's compare uh, my other video with that one. I want you guys to see the difference here. I want you guys to see the difference. Let me go to my videos here and look at what I was dealing with. Look at what I was dealing with before. Look at that. And you guys tell me if they fixed it or not. To my eyes, they fixed it. Let me fast forward and... Dang it. Bear with me. As you can see, you know, look how great everything was. It's like my whole right side of the screen was completely grayed out. Look at that. That's what I was dealing with before the update. But now it's patched. So that's it for uh, this video, you guys. I just wanted you guys to see the comparison of what I was dealing with before the patch and after patch. They have fixed the black level. So if you're looking for a TV to buy in 2020, go with the Hisense H9G.